Hey you guys, what's up? Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I actually just wrapped up shooting another video for my main channel. Um, I'm really excited to share it with you guys because it is a video that I haven't really done. I've been a little bit like, eh, if I want to make like home decor related things because I'm like not a professional. So I feel like my tips are not like, you know, kind of what a professional would give. But um, I just said, you know what, I'm going to do a video I want to do. Have fun with it. So. It'll be up by the time you're watching this vlog, so I'll link it down below. Definitely go check it out. It's 10 ways to make your house more cozy. It's sunny. The weather's gorgeous. I'm feeling productive. We're having trouble. Crisis averted. Daisy was about to eat some markers. So I just wrapped up filming. Lacey is being so good. She's in her room right now, and she's just coloring. Let me show you guys. Look at this cutie. <laughs> She has set up her little coloring station here while I was filming. She's got some markers down there, some beautiful artwork happening. Yeah. And she set down her little dory cloth. So she's coloring while Mama finishes up some work. Are you trying to wreak havoc on the house? Yes, you are, because you always are. Now you look tired. Are you tired from being a little troublemaker? Also, side note, that gate is not to keep Lacey in, it's to keep Daisy out. <laughs> just to clarify, we are on the internet. I'm just trying to get some things done today. Well, I'm gonna just tell you guys over here because why not? The video I was working on is with Grove Collaborative. I don't know if you guys have heard of them or not, but um, they were just running a really cool special for new time customers or first time customers, um, you get this whole little set right here for free. I'm gonna have my affiliate link down below. It is an affiliate link. I will make a commission, but it does help both of my channels out quite a bit. So if you guys wanna support your girl and you're into something like this, feel free to use my affiliate link. Their free gift right now is this hand lotion. You get, I mean, and you can choose your scent. It doesn't have to be this one, but you get a free Mrs. Myers hand lotion free dish soap, which obviously I already use and love, and then a hand soap. Did I say hand soap? This was lotion. I don't remember what I said, but you also get this little cleaning caddy, which is really nice. You can put your little cleaning tools in it, get to work, keep your house nice and clean. Anyway, sorry this is a little promote -y. I just got done filming this video, but I wanted to share it with you guys too, because it actually is a really good offer, and I've really been enjoying their service. It is a subscription service. You can sign up for their VIP program, which is $39.99 for the year. So you get free shipping, free returns. All of this stuff too is like hella cheap. It's way cheaper from what I've found than when I go to the store and try to purchase these things. They sell them at really good prices. Basically their goal is to sell um, affordable, non-toxic, natural, cleaning things for your home. And then some of this I purchased and some of it was sent to me since we were working together. I don't remember exactly what was what, but some was free, some I bought. Um, we've got some Method Toilet Cleaner. I've got another one of these Miss Myers hand lotions. I love her stuff. This, however, though, is my absolute all-time favorite scent. It is the Bluebell scent. I feel like this is not one of the most popular scents, and I don't know why, because it's so amazing, but anyway. Um, this is gonna be interesting. I think this was a little freebie in my box or something because I don't remember ordering this or selecting it for my um, subscription this month. But it is a Method Laundry Detergent. This one is a ginger mango scent. So you can apparently do 10 loads. It's a little bottle. This would actually be a pretty good travel size. This, I love. I love cutesy functional things that also look adorable to set out. Um, this is a little cleaning brush for like dishes and stuff. Um, it's a really nice little scrub brush here, and then you have this contraption, which you can put your soap in. There, it's like spring-loaded, so you can push this down to get your suds and then clean your dish. And then, hello, it's adorable, so it looks really cute on your countertop. So, I got that. Got some Kleenexes. I got these. I had been needing some kitchen towels so badly and couldn't find anything that was like within the realm of style that I like. So I found these and really, really liked them. It's just gray and white. Um, very affordable. I love the Method brand. That's what I buy whenever I'm at Target just because it's more natural and everything I've used has worked really, really well. So there's that. Also, another one of my all-time favorite, favorite smells is this one. The Method Lime and Sea Salt. Lord have mercy. It smells so good. Um, if you guys have never purchased this scent before in anything, you're missing out. I usually get 
the anti-back all-purpose cleaner and the lime and sea salt but i just wanted to try the wildflower this time so i got that but this that is this that and this. this is my favorite scent from the method stuff i feel like after we moved i cleaned my life away and now i have like zero cleaners so this came in clutch just in time so i'm just sitting here working on my main channel video getting it edited i just got done with lunch and while i was eating lunch i have been really into just kind of like watching youtube videos chilling out Lacey's having her quiet time right now or she should be she's in there just like playing around but whatever it's cute to listen to if you hear her on the camera that's what she's doing so she's having a little quiet time while i work so i'm trying to get this video done but just really quickly I wanted to show you guys a YouTube channel. Um, I was watching these videos while I was eating. That's what made me think of it. But I have been so in love with this girl's channel. Um, it's Roots and Refuge Farm. She's got a beautiful garden that's literally just goals. I would love to have a lot of land to have a garden like this on one day and some animals and stuff like that. So. <laughs> That's kind of like one of my long-term dreams. So when I find channels like this, it, I just I get very hooked. She's so uplifting, so genuine. I don't know, I feel like her channel has been so refreshing, you know, just out of the normal content that I watch. She doesn't sensationalize anything for YouTube. She's just doing what she loves. And I just kind of really enjoy that perspective. I wanted to share her channel with you guys and just kind of pass it along for one, just because I do want to kind of start sharing more channels that I watch and I've been really into like gardening and this type of channel lately. It's just been really refreshing and calming for me to watch this stuff and kind of get a little bit away from like the makeup and competitiveness and everything that goes on in the beauty space that we all know and kind of despise anyway so not to like hate on you know my community but sometimes it gets a little exhausting so I love garden channels I feel like they're so fun to watch and I really love watching them like harvest all of their stuff I just posted my garden tour a couple of days ago which is obviously just like a small little patio garden but I like just found her channel I don't know maybe a day or two ago and look all these red bars you know if you are a YouTube watcher that means I've literally watched everything I think I found her channel from this video because I've been growing some tomatoes obviously and mine have kind of sucked this one was how to grow the best tomatoes gardening tips she does those types of videos and then I really really love these little garden devotionals that she does this morning I woke up and I saw she had uploaded so while I was doing my makeup this morning I watched this and they're just such a wonderful way to start the day like it's just so genuine her message is always so heartfelt I know this is kind of like a long <laughs> little clip here but I just wanted to share it with you guys because I think she's really great and if you enjoy this type of content um, she does like gardening homesteading she has lots of goats which are so cute um, there was one video I was watching she did like goat maternity shoot which I thought was hysterical yeah look at that oh my gosh it was so cute really been enjoying her channel so i hope you guys go watch and if you do and you enjoy her channel let her know i sent you i'm gonna get back to editing my video which final cut is not working great and that is such a hot face oh my god i'm gonna get back to this and i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit if this isn't the cutest thing you've seen all day tell me what it is here are a few things from the garden this actually came from my parents garden um, I had one of their cucumbers. They gave me, I think, three of them, and I ate one just like as a snack with some salt, and it was delicious. These are some of those little cherry tomatoes. They were good, but not the best I've ever had. They're not nearly as sweet as some of the other ones I'm growing. Those I just have on here. I didn't grow these limes. Um, but this was my first, like, red tomato, and uh, it's not huge, but I kind of don't have my... Um, expectations super high for container tomatoes. I've always heard that they're just generally a little smaller but um, this is a Cherokee purple and it cracked a little bit. Looks like it is ready to eat so I'm gonna probably have that later this afternoon. I also just picked this little lime. This one had been on the tree since I got it and it really hasn't done any significant growing and a bunch of the other ones are kind of out growing it so I figured this one was probably just kind of done out for the count. It sure smells good though. I'm kind of curious though so I think I'm going to open it. 
Is it just me or is that like significantly greener than like a lime from the grocery store? Sure smells good. There's my first little lime, how cute. I started editing this video very early this morning and I just got done. It is seven o'clock. I'm uploading it now. By the time you see this, it'll already be live on my channel. I'll link it below. Um, but yeah. This day has just flown by. I wanted to do so many other things. I should have known better because if I ever have to edit like a really in-depth video like I did today, it usually takes a whole day. Look what I just did. My big old behind got stuck on this thing and snapped it while I was trying to come around here. This is a little bit of a tight squeeze <laughs> in between the back of the table and here, but that's never happened before. It got like stuck on my shirt. It's kind of like a flowy shirt. Oh my God, I'm so pissed. I don't even have any super glue, but probably gonna have to buy some of that and hope that that will just stay together. Hello everyone, it is currently the next day, even though I look the exact same. I literally did my makeup the same way I did yesterday because I really like how it turned out. Um, on my new video, I got a few comments of people wondering. So um, for my eyeballs, I am using the Ami, <laughs> Ami, Manny MUA Life's a Drag palette and uh, really kind of living for this look. So that's the current makeup situation. Editing again, working on a vlog, this vlog. <laughs> vlog inception. Yeah, I just got done filming a little bit and having another really productive day. I'm feeling so good. I just am feeling kind of like back to my old self again. I don't really know how to explain it, but I just feel like my love for YouTube has returned, which makes me feel so happy. I just, I was feeling really down on myself for a while and um, it kind of got to the point where I would spend so much time getting ready and then I'd film a video and then I would think that I looked horrible and so I would just trash the whole video. Even though there was a lot of time I wasn't posting, I was filming a lot. I just wasn't posting at all. So um, I'm kind of feeling a little bit better about myself. That's another reason that really kind of pushed me into wanting to kind of like better my lifestyle. So I'm on that journey. I think since my last vlog, I think I told you guys I lost eight pounds. I'm down 12 pounds now, which is really exciting. Things are going really good with that. It's going slow, but it's going good. So uh, I got a lot left to go, but I'm feeling pretty positive about the whole situation. So, all right, you guys, it's the end of the day. Very productive day. I got so much done. I feel so good when I am productive and I just like get ready. I don't know what it is. I think I've just realized about myself. I feel like crap when I don't take the time to, you know, do my makeup and get ready for the day. And there's nothing wrong with like bumming around, but I just feel better when I take the time to do my makeup. Got a couple exciting things happening in the next few days. I have a hair appointment on the 16th, which I believe is Monday. I'm going to be lightening my hair again. I'm really excited. I'm going to get some more highlights. Um, I want to get it like super bright next to my face like I still want it to overall be pretty dark but um, I'd love to have kind of some brightness up next to my face I just feel like hair that's not black does a lot more for my complexion so I'm really liking the lightness and if I go dark I don't think I'll ever go black again I actually didn't intend on going black this past time it just kind of happened when the dye kind of piles up over each other um you know when you put color on top of color on top of color it just goes dark 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 so i was always using a brown color i actually never used black hair dye but it just ended up black so anyway i think i'm going to keep it like around this level of darkness from here on out if i go super super dark i am wanting to brighten it up just a little so i'm excited for my hair appointment on monday i'll show you guys that um but that was kind of it for the rest of this vlog. The fam wasn't in this vlog as much. I've been filming a little bit more when they've been out. Brock's at the gym right now, Lacey's asleep. So um, yeah, anyway, that's it for this vlog. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.